The Raider of the Monies. Hey coders, Munnery here. Today we're going to be doing another data pack. In this data pack, it adds the paintbrush, which allows you to dye any block. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Here we have a little build I made to demonstrate this mechanic. We have a couple of interesting shaded pumpkins and melons. You have some leaves that are different colors, as well as the stone here and the wood. And here you can see you can have some barrels, crafting table, got a little flower pot there. You can even have dispensers. Any full block will be able to be dyed. And you get a nice blue floor. So yeah. To craft the paintbrush and the paint can, simply take two sticks and a piece of white wool. You can make the paintbrush. To craft the paint can, take iron ingot, two string, and a bucket, and you can make the paint can. So then if I put the paint can in offhand, have the paintbrush. Currently it's automatically set to brown. If I click, it's dyed to brown. You'll notice if you try to click in the air, or to block it's too far away, you won't be able to click it until you can just about see it. Now, this item, while it may say that it has 25 durability total, it actually has 250, so you can die up to 250 blocks per paint paintbrush. Okay, let's get into how you can die it. In order to dye the paint can, don't have it off hand because you can't access it there, put it in the craft table with any dyes of any color. And then, just like that, this works the same principle as my backpack dad pack. Note that while non-full blocks can be dyed, They'll not die correctly, so if you want to have that, you can, but I advise not doing that. In order to undye a block, either mine it, and it'll revert to its original form, or place a water bucket down, and that'll clear all the dye. You may notice some visual glitches at a far range away. To fix this, simply increase the scale factor of the overlay model in the resource pack. Though, be warned, the bigger the scale factor is, the larger these intersection lines will be as well. That's about it for today, folks. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe for more data pack content. Comment down below if you have a cool data pack idea you'd like me to explore. And as always, keep coding.